at this point, we're going to comb down our sides and our belly. We're going to pull, once again, just the long stuff. It doesn't matter what direction you're pulling in. But once again, just pulling a little so it's not terribly uncomfortable for the dog. You wouldn't want somebody yanking a whole big wad of hair out of your head. Not that it's the same, but you want to just go little by little. This hair does naturally come out, but that's why we've got a groom. Okay, now we're looking at her side again. You know, pull up this long stuff and just pull, pull out the long, little by little. Little by little doesn't hurt. Little by little leaves no holes. So just a little bit. Good girl, good girl. And comb it and look at it and pick some more. But a little at a time. Now when it comes to our legs, once again we're going to hold up a little bit of hair and pull the long stuff. You can really see it with Molly because the underneath is a lot darker, a lot nicer coat. And the thing with the Norwich is from dog to dog you have a difference in coats. Some of them have very short furnishings because this is what anything on the legs and the face, that's what we call furnishings. And some of them have, have a much harsher coat and it doesn't get silky like this. But this also happens if you leave it a long time and don't pull it. So it's definitely worth taking a little time, pulling a little at a time. I know you don't like that, I'm sorry. But it's just all part of what we gotta do. Just a little, just a little, just a little. And we go like that. 